Right then, um, this is a video of a recent bike trip I did with a mate uh, called Ian. Um, it was from Hollyhead to Chester. Uh, we did it over two days. Um, Ian, say hello. Hi, it's Ian. Uh, good, thank you. <laughs> I'm here too. Um, yeah, we've done a, a cycle route previously over, um, what was that one called? Trans Pennine Trail. Trans Pennine Trail, and we thought that was quite a long one. That was over four days, this is over two days. Um, so yeah, I, I took a camera with me, stuck it on the um, handlebars and took one photograph every five seconds. Obviously I didn't have to put my fingers on it every five seconds, it's automatic, isn't it? And it's then, very clever, wasn't it? Very yeah. clever. Well, it seemed I, to work. I wasn't very clever. I think the camera, the people who made the camera are quite clever. Yeah, and you did the, um, you kind of did the navigation and you put the, the map on your phone. Yeah, well we got it from Sustrans and we seem to put it on Google Maps and followed the map quite closely. I think it seemed fairly, fairly easy to follow. It wasn't all, uh, wasn't all paths. It, it wasn't, it, it, yeah, it wasn't, um, it was a lot, there was quite a lot of road, wasn't it? It wasn't kind of off-road paths, but it was quiet roads. It keeps you off yeah, the... Yeah, kind of quiet back roads, weren't they? Yeah. Single track things. And, and as you can see from here, I think there's not a lot of traffic on the roads here, is there? No, but then we did do it just before the holidays and the kids broke up. Yes, that's it. It was, um, yeah, what, what date was it? I can't remember now. Last week. <laughs> Whenever that was. <laughs> Whenever last week was. It was about third week in July, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes, some, sometime like that, yeah. On, on a Thursday and a Friday, so it wasn't even a weekend. Yeah. So describe what, what we're seeing now. What, what do you remember this? So where are we? So, so we've just uh, come from Hollyhead and we've just gone across the bridge into the main part of Anglesey and then we turn left. Um, we went up to... It was a windmill, wasn't there? Is this a windmill that coming was it. up? This is it. Well, coming up, you've got good memory there, yeah. yeah. So, so we came up to this lovely windmill and we had a bit of a, a sandwich and uh, carried on from there. And yeah, it was it was quite rolly, wasn't it? The, the thing about this, I remember, the route isn't a direct route, is it? It's not the quickest route across Anglesey because yeah. basically Hollyhead's the top, um, well, the top northwest of Anglesey. Um, yeah, it would have been easy just to go straight down the A5. You could have gone... Yeah. But I think the A5 yeah. might have been a bit busy bit, and the A55 would have been, you know, and a bit dangerous. suicidal. Yeah. I think the good thing about Sustrans is they do try and keep you on the safer, um, a bit more picturesque roads as well, don't they? They were picturesque. I mean, it's a lovely island, but it, uh, yeah. it, it did seem to go up and down a lot. I don't think there was many main roads that we crossed over. No. So a, a lot of this, if you remember as well, was... It actually took us the wrong way. It seemed it kind of took us north up up the yeah up the island rather than rather route, wasn't it? Yeah. rather than going down the island. It was kind of we were kind of going in the wrong direction for quite a while, but can't really complain about it. It's, it's the yeah, journey we, that's the prize. We we tried not to navigate by the sun, didn't we? It's... Anyway, yeah. So um, yeah, I don't think it took us through many towns as well. Not there are many towns in. I no, I think there was a couple of small villages on there. It avoided Lang Langefni, isn't it? It didn't, didn't go through there. Yeah, yeah, that was to our right most of the time, wasn't it? So we went a big wide route around Lang Langefni, yeah. if that's how you say it. What I what you don't really see on the camera is that... Oh, <laughs> I'll edit that bit out. <laughs> um, what you don't really see on the camera is that an indication of really how... Some of these are quite hilly, aren't they? You don't really see that here. It's very rolly. I mean, not as hilly what, as it is. What do you mean rolly? Like what? Well, it kind of up and down. I mean, you can you can get a bit of a speed up and, and go up yeah. the next hill, can't you? It wasn't too bad. I mean, there was, I don't think there was anything that we couldn't ride up. No, not in Anglesey. We might have been in like quite low gears. I mean, we're not the fittest of no. people. But just looking at this, the, the it, camera doesn't really give an indication of whether these are up, up or down. It's not a very good indicator, is no, it, of hills? No, it definitely I seemed think. to be... Uh, where some of them are and some of them were quite steep and they yeah. were yeah but as I say I don't think there was anything that you know would would trouble anybody who's used a bike before yeah it's I spoke to a couple of people at work about doing this and they they were saying that they because they were thinking of planning it mm. and they were going to do it like dropping people off and then taking their luggage to the next thing next place and then they'd meet up with the luggage but we took our panniers with us, didn't we? And it well, was, it was quite... only two days, wasn't it? I mean, yeah. you know, we've done it before where we've taken four days worth of stuff and, and that didn't seem to uh, to worry the bike too much. It doesn't worry the bike. It worries me a bit. I think it slowed us down quite a bit. I, I th maybe up some of the steeper hills. Yeah. It, uh, it certainly made us change down into a much lower gear than we, we felt. But uh, 
you know, we're not, we weren't we weren't hurrying. I don't think. No, I think we took it steady. I definitely don't think we were hurrying because um, <laughs> I think I think I mentioned to you before about someone at someone I go to the I go swimming and, and one of the managers there was saying how someone had done a triathlon and they'd done like 120 miles in a day and a three mile swim and a marathon. Yeah. And yet this is 110 miles over two days. We, so. we don't really have that same sort of urge, really, do we? We, we don't have the same sort of bodies as people like that, no, Steve. No, definitely. So this, we're just normal people on a normal bike. The other thing is that I don't think we've got the same bikes, but I think that might have speed us quite considerably. We could have probably done 120 miles in a day. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. If we if we paid if we got like one of the a three grand bike with electric we, yeah. powered. Yeah, I'm sure if we paid three thousand pounds. I mean, we were passed by that very old person up that hill oh, later yeah. on, weren't we? Which uh, yeah. which was quite a steep hill, and he was on an e-bike. Yes. Um, and he did acknowledge that he was on an e-bike, but I felt yeah. that uh, that didn't help the embarrassment of no. him cycling past us at speed. It didn't help that he acknowledged he was. He told us he was on an e-bike because it was like. He knew we were doing it. We were going embarrassingly slow, so he he yeah. felt he had to mention that we were on. A, he was on an e-bike. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think he was making excuses for us as well as us. Yeah, it's a bit bad, isn't it? Really, and didn't help. I think he was about eighty. Well, we we don't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So where are we here then, Steve? Are we coming down? We we seem to go over a lot of hills, and then eventually we came down into Menai Bridge, didn't we? Yeah. So I think this might be, this looks but, like the last bit, doesn't it? Down into Menai Bridge. I don't know, but let's let's wait and see. Yeah. I mean, what I, what I noticed here is that it, it, it was quite low traffic, I think, really. It, yeah, it just come down into Menai in a minute, but... Um, here we are. This is the this main Yeah, is I think this, road, is lead up to, this is the lead up to the Menai Bridge, isn't it? Does it go yeah, from Bo this is Bo Menai Bridge here, because you go past that really nice curry place and then the church. Yeah, we didn't get a chance to go And then you get place. on to Britannia Bridge, I think it's called. That's it. Here we go. Oh, stop quick. Photo stop. Photo. Yeah. There we go. We had to take a photo or two here, because yeah. it was... Uh, Oh, and then this was a decision, wasn't it? I, I wanted to go along oh, the yeah. main Explain easy Explain the road, decision, go on. And yeah. the Sustrans wanted you to go up a massively steep hill in the wrong direction and then turn left. And so we had to sit down and have a think about it at a Mars bar. And and you convinced me to not go with my feelings, but yeah. to, to, to go up the steep hill. Well, the idea is not to cut the Sust... This, this is a video of the Sustrans route. The idea is not to take shortcuts. That, that was my argument at the time and still remains. It was an incredibly steep hill. <laughs> but uh, you, ca it, you it can't did. make a film about Sustrans route and then and then decide to chop half of it off just because it's well, easier. You, you can't, no. But it did stretch our friendships for a while there. But I think we got over that. Once we got to the top of the hill, you forget all about that. Once, we came once you got to the top of the hill, it got worse later on, didn't it, I think, anyway. But, yeah, um, so this is coming, what, down into Bangor now, isn't it? Yeah, so this is coming down into Bangor. So it takes one of the high roads through the through the houses up down yeah. past the university and stuff and uh so this was oh. what well, this must have been this is this was morrison so Morrison's, yeah. this was probably yeah. about four hours in no probably now i normally cut this out but i'm going to leave it in i think because i think it's worth mentioning they did a good pasta um pasta bowl they got a good pasta bowl yeah yeah nice pasty and it makes a welcome drink. Although there weren't any benches, I think we just had to sit down on a piece of. Well, no, no, no. I think we. Oh, no, 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 oh, sorry, no. That we was take it. it a little bit. I we mean, did, I don't yeah. want to spoil the surprise or anything, but uh, we we took it through, through Banger, and uh, we ended up uh, along the front, which is a really nice route along that front. Oh yeah. Um, well, you might have to spoil the surprise. Because I don't think I've got a shot of it. This is the. Um, this is uh, this is Bang Up Here. Yeah. So Bang Up Here, this us. And we don't see any of it here. Maybe I have to get a shot in a minute and put eating, it in the camera in camera. So we're eating lunch at, at Bang Up Here. At Bang Up Here, we feeling have to, like we've we've travelled somewhere. And you have to pay fifty p to go on Bang Up Here, which we didn't. No, because we're tight. Yeah, and then. Um, um, and what? then it goes up. Oh, this is this where we got lost around the got, castle, I, oh, up and down and up and down. We could not work this out. Could we? I wouldn't say it's very lost but there's a bridge that goes up. i think there, there's two bridge yeah. a, a road that goes over a bridge and there it is and the road we wanted was underneath the bridge wasn't it yeah so we we didn't yeah we it, couldn't navigate why the it, why the road went underneath the bridge yeah it, we it, eventually we we it, looked over the bridge and yeah. we found it it wasn't really getting lost i'd say just um, in case we just got a little bit took the wong turning a couple of times <laughs> yeah which is how i like to think of it yeah yeah uh, just just to see what was there yeah. really so so this is where it takes us up into the hill a little bit, away from the A55, isn't it? Yes. So it's a bit higher road than the A55. And this is where we met that really nice, 
nice lady who yeah. uh, who who passed us again. Another lady who passed us on a bike. We seem to have a a lot of people who passed us on bikes. Yeah, th I mean, this is a bit where um, I think it avoids the old coast road, which would be flat, obviously. Mm. You know, you'd go uh, follow the coast road, and but this goes takes you up into the hills, doesn't it? Behind, um, up behind Bangor and that. Yeah. Yeah, but it wasn't that steep, was it? I mean, it's and it was nice. You got to see a few villages that you'd never get to see normally. Yeah. Obviously, the so the A55 is on our left down in the valley. Isn't oh, it? you're right. So I'm thinking of a bit later on after that. Yeah, I'm a bit later on when we go read up the hills. Oh, no, we don't talk about that. No, we we'll don't talk about, about that. We have to. We'll talk about the pain of that one later on. Yeah. Um, and that's where we, yeah, we, we ended up on a little cycle path along yeah. the A55. It looks, looks like you're riding into oncoming traffic. Yeah. But it, it made you realise how quiet the rest of the roads were, I felt, not being on the main road. Yeah. So where are we? Oh, this is uh, Clamfair, Clamfair Fecken. Is it? Yeah, because I wanted to go down to the main road, and you said that no, we had to follow the follow the path. true to the path, follow true to the path. So yeah. uh, so we did, and uh, and then this is the bit along the main road. Yeah, because there's those weird bridges that oh, go down and up and yeah. over. Yeah, well, that's basically where it crosses the A55, doesn't it? Is that the one? That's right, yeah. You can see some of this path from the A55 S as you drive along. So, so your cycle path goes all up the middle of the A55 for about 100 feet, foot, doesn't it? It's like yeah. over the top. and Yeah, that's an odd one, that one. Yeah, and then it comes back down onto the main bit that you actually want to yeah. do, which is the, the coastal kind so, of prom. So now, yeah, there. you're probably on the, on the prom here. Yeah for a while, which is which is nice, isn't it? It's kind of nice because you can see the Great Orm in the distance and it's all kind of off-road, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's just so, kind of nice. So this is a proper cycle path, basically, what what you kind of, yeah. Yeah, and it's, it's lovely and flat. It's got nice views. You've got a bit of an A55 on your right, but apart from that, it's okay. Yeah. The camera, I'm just thinking of the camera, it makes it look... Uh, a bit dull but it isn't because obviously when you're on the bike you you can look across to the left and see mm. the sea on the left hand side which obviously the camera's just pointing straight ahead isn't it yeah and then we went through some dunes i don't know where that would be no. Talacra or no not not yet i don't think no it's not there yet yeah another cyclist i was talking to at work he said he was saying i think it was a bit later on on some of the dunes how he, he crashed in the dunes because they were really thick and it seized up his it just froze his wheels pretty much still he went he fell off in what the dunes sound? Yeah, and you know the paths where yeah. where we saw it a bit later on. Oh, just missed that bit. That's the youth hostel. And um, do you want to talk about the youth hostel? Just oh, was that the youth hostel? Yeah. So the youth hostel in Conway. That's um, oh, I don't know. Well, you I booked it, didn't it's, you? Uh, we booked it. It was only about sixty quid for the room. You booked it. Um, uh, yeah, it was really nice. Wasn't yeah, it? we we had. Uh, you didn't know if it was the room or like for two people. So it could be four. It could be four people could in be there. Four couldn't people. It? But it was nice. It was clean. The sheets were clean. The beds were comfy. Yeah. And it was at the top of the massively steep hill, so it gave us some great views of the castle and things like that. Yeah. So this was us trying not to get lost, wasn't it? Um, going through the other side of Conway, Clandidno Junction. Yeah, we didn't get lost though, did we? No, no. And then and then it goes through the car park. We, we nearly went around that roundabout three times, you remember? Oh, yeah. yeah. Because we were following the signs for the, for the N5. Yeah. And the N5 just oh, yeah, kept, so, kept going around that roundabout. Yeah, so it? what? So it was a, yeah, just talk a bit about that. The N5 route, wasn't it? So, yeah. So I think that I think all of it was N5, wasn't it? I think it was. I, I was think it like about the N5? Was it about 200, 200 yards at the very beginning, which was N8 or something, or was we on the actual N N5? I think we were on the N5 stroke eight, but I might be wrong. And that one takes you all the way to Chester, doesn't it? It does. It yeah. Takes you all the way to the rural way and, and so, back up through the main greenway. Yeah. So. The, so that's the route we followed, the N5 bicycle path. Mm. So this is around the back of uh, Clandidno Junction and then we're just about to come over the hill and see the sea for the first time today. So this is day two, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So we've stayed and eaten fish and chips at Conway. Slept well. Good shower at, uh, yeah. at the YHA. So where is this now? Is this Ross on Sea or something? What's this place? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think it's... Um, oh, where does it come down? I've forgotten. But it's a good bit though, isn't it? Because it's like proper coastal cycle path now. Yeah, they were building it though, weren't they? And there yeah. were bits and pieces, which is going to be really lovely in a few weeks. But you weren't sure whether you could get through to the end. This must be where your sand is. 
let you sound I don't know I think you might have mentioned real or something like that I can't remember where he said but yeah it was, it was probably somewhere along here yeah yeah that's it so this is uh, up and over the hill and then and then you get on this nice, really nice path again and you go past all the uh, yeah and you go past all, the, uh, all the fencing caravan, yeah. all the caravan <laughs> stuff. you know you eventually get to the caravan sites at um, oh, I can't remember the names now but uh, yeah but this is a good path, wasn't it? Because I think it's quite smooth here. And it's good. Yeah. It was properly maintained, wasn't it? Properly I, out of the way of the A55. I remember thinking, round about this point, I was starting to think about what to eat, I think. I, th I think that that, that this, entered your brain quite a lot, though, didn't it? Yeah, what because gonna eat. I think we just had, like, porridge for breakfast. and. Um, oh, yeah, we I were looking for a cafe, weren't we? Looking for a greasy spoon. We were spoon. hoping for a nice greasy spoon in yeah. real, and we were disappointed. Well, we'll find, yeah, well, we haven't got to real yet, so we'll, yeah. So, yeah, so this, so this is kind of the, the path that you wanted to be on, isn't it? On well, we were coast. on it, yeah, so, yeah. And, uh, yeah. and, and, and you've, this is the one that you, you can see from the A55, and you can see when you park up in these towns like Abigail. I'll tell you what, it does not seem a lot quicker now that I'm watching it back. I, I thought we were cycling quite slow, but it, it seems like we were doing quite a pace. I, I, th I think you probably speeded it up a little bit. To be fair. <laughs> I'm surprised some of those I people didn't get annoyed with us cycling past them at 150 miles an hour. That was the false rill there. Yeah, that's it. So we, we were heading for rill, and then it turned out that it was a, that was like a rill. It was a fair. A small bit of yeah, yeah. So we didn't know where rill was. We just kept. And I think this is this, this is a bit here when I saw a tower, and I think I thought it was Paris. <laughs> I don't think there's any doubt. The Eiffel Tower. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think it was. We saw. I think we saw a false tower of. Yeah. Real. So I this is I'll... real, isn't it? So we were ho hoping for a nice cafe here. Ah, yes. And uh, and you had an impression of real, didn't you? I've got a long old impression of real. It's completely changed. It, I thought they we passed it because it's. It, in my mind, we'd compl they completely knocked it down. Go on. Oh, this is where we met a bloke, didn't we? Asking where where oh, yeah, spoon we, was. We we weren't sure whether we'd miss real or not because it looked. A lot nicer. Yeah, it looks. They got new it. buildings on the front there, yeah. and they've done up the main streets and things. Well, and, so, and we asked him for a greasy spoon, and he directed us to a rugby club, didn't he? he real, said, real rugby club. Real rugby club, yeah. So it's only about half a mile off the main road, isn't it? There it is, and there yeah. it is, real. Yeah, and I believe there's some famous people that are oh, Welsh and know, have Welsh rugby, rugby players. But, but that was uh, a good breakfast. Yeah. yeah, it was just like you know half a mile out your way, wasn't it? Yeah, it's very good that. So. And this is where I was fretting because I could see the hill and I knew what, what was going to happen, Stephen. You never believed me. What? You were going to go up the it? hill. It was going to be a steep hill. I knew we were going to go up it. <sighs> yeah, I just I know. embraced the hill. Glass half full guy, aren't you? That's... Yeah. You have to stick with the Sustrans route. Again, I think this is one I was kind of alluding to earlier on, but I got mistaken is that the old, this is the old coast road bit where you could have just cycled from here, like from Prestatin, real Prestatin and then gone on the flat along the kind of de estuary and it would have been easy whereas this bit took us up into the hills which became very very steep this is where i know this we still haven't turned off here so we're still in Sorry. this is golf course golf isn't course it? yeah it's golf yeah. course at prostatin i think yeah and then you uh you go through the nice dunes there but we knew it couldn't last and yeah there's the right hand turn that takes you up the hill and and this is where this is where the pain sets in Oh yeah, I mean, the, some of these do look like hills now. The, ca the camera does not do any of this justice. I mean, we were walking up most of this, weren't we, Steve? We were walking down some of them, I remember. <laughs> it was so steep. I've never had to walk down a hill before, but yes. But there is a reason for that though, isn't it? Because we found that when um, when we went on the last trip about three years ago, the, the brake pads would wear down. Coming down off the Gridstone Path, yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. wore, they literally wore down about half a centimetre yeah. in the space of about half a mile coming down that when you're just keeping your brakes on all the time. I think this is where you realise that if a car did come head on around the corner, then neither of us would stop. Why? Because what? Because they were so steep and, and the, the paths were quite... Yeah, I think you thought I was going too fast down with... some of these sometimes. Yeah, you're very brave, Steve. Or stupid. Yeah, I just let you go. And I felt that, you know, I could... If you'd fallen off, then I could always pick you up. Oh. So is this, this is the bit at the top, is it? 
I don't know. There was no top. Uh, there was a little bit of top, wasn't there? Because you go back over the 855. So it takes you over the A55 after it's gone off, uh, I think it's pronounced React Hill, just after St. Asaph. Which is quite a steep hill in a car. So this just kept going on and on and on and up. And well, on. there was a bit, is have we come to it yet, where it's a common, wasn't there? Right at the top, wasn't it? Yeah. So it's not here yet. Oh, this was a bit with the, the farm track that we weren't sure whether it really was a road or not. But it seemed to work. So, right. So I'll mention it now, just because somewhere or there's like a common where there's a, there's sheep wandering across the road, wasn't there? It looked like a, they weren't fenced or anything like that. No, I think that's at the top of this bit, isn't it? There's a bit of a plateau. But it, this is all up, isn't it? Yeah, that was it. I, I yeah, I'm not sure. A, a fried breakfast before we hit this was was probably the best thing to do. You know? But do you know what? That was a great wall. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lovely wall. That yeah, thing. that's what I thought. Yeah, I thought it was worth stopping. It was about worth. That one. It was worth half an hour of what looking yeah, at that wall. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I think you. I think you walked. You had a wander around, but I just stared at that wall for about yeah. half an hour. I know it only seems about four seconds on the film here, but well, this is where it kept crossing the main roads, wasn't it? And each of those roads could have done as a skirting around the hill oh yeah i think you just wanted to go back down on on any of those roads any and down to any the of coast those road. roads yeah but it turns yeah. out that uh, is, no. yeah so that was back over the a55 there and this is where the common is i think oh yeah we've, we've literally gone through that it's quite, there th this is it the common yeah so so there's a golf there's sheet course wandering there, by and there's yeah there's a weird golf course up in the mid up on the moors yeah and a, and a new wedding venue by the looks of it that you weren't oh that's that keen awful on. Isn't it? i don't think you should say that you never know someone someone from Somebody there might, might watch it. it yeah they might be watching yeah. this yeah you know it's going to come past our i, I um, think they need to know that venue. the the romanesque and and various other bits and pieces where it, i mean i didn't mind it but you know you're maybe you're a bit more choosy about that kind of thing I this is this is the common here isn't it anyway we were stopped yeah. and there's like there was sheep but there could have been other things like bears or something i don't know but you know so we had, that's why i probably got moving i, I here. didn't see any of those but it's probably worth you didn't see any but just they can case. come at you quite quick i think yeah. in wales yeah i think they're more scared of you than than you are of them yeah right, and this, this was down so that was it that was the up oh yeah this massive is definitely up yeah this is definitely back this down was now the back. massive down i think it was even steeper going down there were bits of this that i'm i'm not sure you would have stopped if what the cars were coming the other if way the cars then. were coming the other way i think you i mean it was lucky it wasn't wet or anything this this was yeah this was in the dry but uh, i think it was even luckier that it wasn't um three three or four days earlier it was the week of the of the big heat wave wasn't it so we did oh, the, the monday yeah. and the tuesday was a big heat wave and we were worried it was still gonna be as hot yeah there was no way um, we were gonna but we were gonna cycle in that this we? wasn't too bad i think it's about 20s or something like that so this drops down by flint yeah just before you hit flint yeah just by greenfields i think yeah and then you go along the the path a little bit yeah and then we had another decision along here somewhere to make whether we should follow the path or not but we did follow the path yeah of course and is this is this where we got lost steve we did get lost yeah so we went oh we this went is flint castle oh no this is flint isn't it no so we, we got lost next yeah well you and your family were nearly going to buy a house i think at one point wasn't it it was, was a lovely house was it with your kids or just we before you no, kid, no, no, before your kids. kids yeah pre-kids yeah. but All you right. know planning ahead yeah but i did like the castle i like flint castle so somewhere along here we missed a turning didn't we well this is the bit along from flint to connor's key by connor's key high school isn't it all ah, right so, it's, uh, so this bit's there. not too bad yeah. We had a bit of trouble crossing the roads. It's raining now, isn't it? This is like the last, probably about the last two or three hours, if that, and it started to rain. Yeah. Which. Yeah, you did, can see we we kind of braved it for a bit and then we didn't. But it didn't bother me really, but yeah. But we were on the home straight here. We we knew we were we were near home. Yeah. And so this is yeah this is this is where we went wrong so we yeah only, we should have turned left here somewhere yeah we should have turned left here somewhere i mean to give them their dues the the five signs were there were were there and they were pretty good yeah. if you knew where to look it was a bit of a treasure hunt sometimes in a bush but i wonder if we just had tunnel vision and we thought it was the home straight so we just thought yeah we're on our way back and we just 
lost it. concentration. Yeah. So this is the bit here where we That's realised it. we got lost, wasn't it? So we got all the way to Connors Key, Queen's Ferry Station or something. And then... it's, it's worth pointing out, though, that we were true to the route, and so we went back, didn't we? We did. We went back about a mile and a half and, and the, rejoined I'm the route. I'm glad we did, because around the back of Queen's Ferry is much nicer than Queen's Ferry itself. And I'd never yeah. done that bit, which was nice. Yeah, I know... Um, You've, you've already insulted the uh, the hotel on top of the common. Now you're insulting Queen's Ferry as well. There's a lot more people involved in Queen's Ferry than there is in that hotel. Is so you might, you might well, have to Well, I apologise to those people listening in Queen's Ferry. I'm sure it's uh, a lot nicer than, yeah. than I, I'm making out. I mean, you know this ends in Chester. I think you should, you should avoid... Oh, oh this, so what's this, this one is called? the bridge, isn't it? This Harden, is Harden Bridge. Harden Bridge, which is nowhere near Harden. It's nowhere near Harden. Well, it's about five miles from... Four or five... Four miles from Harden or something like that, but not... I don't know why they call it Harden Bridge. But this yeah. is brilliant, isn't it? Because then it joins the the Wirral Way. Yeah. Green, green. It's the Greenway, green way, isn't it? Greenway. Green way. There's a bridge that, that crosses. That bloke. Yeah, this crosses the. What do they call that? The, the, I call it. Oh, four eight three. Is it four eight three? No, so, five, gateway five, to seven. Wales, basically, isn't oh, it? That? See, yeah. yeah. And then it's nice and uh, nice and flat from there on. Yeah. So this is back on the Greenway, about four or five miles from Chester, home straight. That is straight. Yeah, so I know this route because this is where I go cycling regularly, about four times a week, sometimes. Yeah, it's, another, it's one of my favourite fields, that one. That's why I stopped there. I think you sat down for a Mars bar, actually. That was definitely a sit down. Yeah. Then we went through Blaken, which I love. Blaken's a, a lovely place. And then... Uh, and where does it come out? Oh, oh, and then it came out. I thought it would just keep going. I'll tell you what you was. You but were it saying, didn't, did it? What What it was here. We were just waiting for people. People should have been asking us here, "Where have you been?" Yeah, we 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 were, we were expecting a lot we, of people to say, "Well, you you look like you've we, cycled where? Where have you come from?" Well, I'd organised the press, but no one turned up. We were. We, I think we waited here for about ten minutes for the press, but the, it obviously didn't seem to. BBC weren't there, were they? BBC weren't there. And ITV Channel, let you down. No, they didn't. Yeah. Well. Uh, Channel Even Newsnight weren't, weren't around. No, CNN. Um, well, this is it, Steve. They were there. Look. That's it. Oh, finished. Boom. 